Excel's conditional formatting tool is diverse with loads of built-in rules that you simply point and click to use, but I find more often than not I need to use a formula-based rule. Now I can sympathise if you've ever tried to use formulas in your conditional formatting and ended up tearing your hair out in frustration. Thankfully, there are only three simple rules you need to know, and once you understand these rules, you'll never look back. Let's take a look. Let's start with an example. Here I have a list of books. Column A contains the date they were loaned out, and column C contains the date they're due back in. I want to highlight the rows where books are overdue based on the current date, which is in cell E1. By the way, my dates are formatted day, month, year. Now the first rule is that the result of the formula must evaluate to true or false, or their numeric equivalents of one and zero. Or, and not many people know this, if the formula evaluates to any positive or negative number, it will also be treated as true and the format will be applied. Now it's only formulas that evaluate to zero or false that won't have the formatting applied. Now I like to test my rules in the worksheet first once I know they're returning the correct result, I can copy the formula into the conditional formatting rule. So here I want to check that the due date here is less than or equal to today's date. Now I need to F4 to absolute the reference to today's date. And you can see this book is overdue, so it's going to have the formatting applied. I'll double click to copy down the formula and you can see each row is returning the result based on the date they drew back in and how it compares to today's date. So I'm happy with that my formula is evaluating correctly. I'm going to copy the first one out. Now here's the second rule. I first need to select the cells that I want the conditional formatting applied to. So I want it applied to the whole table. So each row formatted. Then on the Home tab, I'm going to go to the Conditional Formatting menu and I want New Rule. Here I want to use the formula to determine which cells to format. And in this box, I simply Control V to paste in my formula. And the third rule is knowing when to use absolute and relative references. Now, I'm comparing the dates in column C to the current date, which is in cell E1. Therefore, I need to absolute the due date column, but only the column reference. So I'm going to press F4 once, twice, three times to only absolute reference the column. And we have the row reference relative. And we do this because in the background, Excel is actually applying this formula to every cell I selected to test for true or false. And this is how I like to remember this rule. When I enter the formula into this conditional formatting dialog box, I picture Excel applying it to every cell I have selected in my table. When it does this in the background, the cell references dynamically update, just as they would if you entered it in cell C2 and then copied and pasted it over the selected area. Except instead of actually pasting it, the conditional formatting tool does the calculation in the background. I picture it as a separate layer of the workbook that looks like this with the formulas in every cell. Now when Excel evaluates the formulas, they return true or false outcomes for each cell, which turns on or off the conditional format. So all I need to do now is apply my format. Let's go with this red fill, click OK and OK again, and you can see it's been applied. I don't need this column anymore, I can delete that. I hope that cleared up any confusion you had about conditional formatting formulas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And don't forget to share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.